Hey there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out something that's, I have to say, insanely cool considering it's totally free. Today we're looking at the Neural Amp Modeler which is an AI based uh, amp uh, capture and modeling uh, uh, software. It's open source so it's free. You can uh, follow the links in the description and go and download this for yourself. It's both available as a Windows uh, standalone application, a Mac standalone application and a plugin in VST and audio unit formats. I'm not sure about other formats, but at least I know it's in audio units for Mac and it's in VST for both Windows and Mac. And I have to say that this is really impressive. I'm sure some of you have already heard about the new Tonex uh, capture system from IK Multimedia, which sounds really good. And there are a lot of great uh, reviews of the Tonex system. Well, the Tonex system costs uh, money if you want to get into it. There is a free version that gives you the ability to play a couple of uh, uh, captured uh, amps from IK. But if you really want to get into the whole amp capture thing, then you need to buy one of the paid versions. So you can capture your own amps and you can also access the, uh, the shared amps from other users. But the NAM or Neural Amp Modeling software is completely free open source so you can just download it and then you can uh, try out other people's amp captures or you can start capturing your own amps if you have uh, the required uh, hardware you usually need uh, an audio interface and the ability to mic up your amp uh, i haven't tried capturing anything because i mostly use my tube amps in the studio and live but i've never had any of the really cool high gain amps and this is where I think the, this new technology really shines, is with all these various uh, high gain types of amplifiers, which are not really bedroom friendly and they're really expensive. If you want to buy anything, you got Marshall uh, high gain amps, you got uh, Mesa Barba, you have uh, you got Marshall high gain amps, you got PV, the 5150s, the EVH, and Mesa Boogie, and all kinds of fun stuff. It usually costs pretty penny if you want uh, real tube amp versions and also it requires uh, to be played loud or to be played through some t kind of attenuator if you want to get the, those cool sounds. Now if you don't have uh, the space to play them loud or an attenuator to play them at the bedroom level they, they aren't all that uh, available for people and also of course the money. But NAM kind of lets you try most of these amps without buying anything. So what you do is you download NAM and then you can go to uh, the NAM user page on Facebook and there people are sharing their captures of various uh, amplifiers. And I've downloaded several captures from various users there of amps that I don't own. And I think that uh, most of it sounds, uh, it sounds pretty good. I'm not able to compare it directly to the actual amps because I don't own them, but I think they sound uh, just as well, just as good and usable as the similar models uh, in the Tonex software and in more normal uh, amp modeling software. I've used Bias FX for several years. I use Amplitude uh, Five, and uh, I've started trying out Tonex sounds in Amplitude Five, uh, and I think that. Uh, neural amp modeler sounds uh, sounds just as good. I think it all depends on how well the captures are made and I think this is only going to improve as people uh, get more used to the whole process of capturing their amps. So considering it's free I think you owe it to yourself if you don't have the money for lots of cool amps but you have a computer and you have a decent interface you owe it to yourself to just download the neural amp modeler and try it out. So now you know what NAM or NOM is. Now we're just going to check out a couple of sounds. I'm just going to play some chords and maybe some uh, small lead uh, melodies with the Fender 65 Twin capture, um, the 5150 capture and uh, a slash edition of a Marshall capture. So just to hear how they sound. I'll use uh, my Strat on the 
on the Fender Capture and the 5150 and then I'll use a Les Paul type guitar on the Slash. So let's just hear what it sounds like. There you have it. I think uh, these captures sound pretty good co considering, like I said, I don't have the original amps and can't really compare. But I think they sound really good compared to other modeling units I've tried. I have an Avid 11 rack that I use for some projects. I have a Boss IR200. I own all of the small battery powered uh, amps. There's a test of a comparison test of all those coming. And um, I've had some other digital options, 
and I own pretty much every type of modeling software. And in my opinion, NAM sounds just as good as any of the others. Is it better? I see some people are saying that it's better. They're doing some null tests, tests and whatever. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I think it sounds just as good as any other digital thing I've tried recording through the computer. And how does it stack up to real tube amp? Well, I might try to capture some of my own amps. I have uh, the Princeton Reverb and uh, Deluxe Reverb in the 68 Custom Series from Fender. I also have a Blues Junior. So I might try capturing them and compare. I also just got the Laney uh, Cub Super Top. So, so perhaps I'll try to capture all my amps and see how I think it sounds running through the computer compared to running the amp through the computer. I'm not com gonna compare it to the sound of the amp in the room because I don't think anything without its own dedicated uh, speaker is gonna come close to that. But for recording purposes, it seems to me that this could be a pretty good option considering it's free and it sounds, yeah, good enough compared to anything else that costs a lot. So that's my two cents. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you soon.